Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we will discuss all information about 6 months of pregnancy. First of all, we will discuss the size and volume of a baby, which we want to know every time. The weight of baby could be between 1 and 2 pounds and it depends upon genetic size of baby. Its size is about 8 to 9 inches CRL, meaning from crown to rump length. Now we will discuss the symptoms or the feelings of a woman who are 6 months pregnant. First of all, we will discuss leg cramps. Some moms to be get cramping in their lower legs, particularly at night time. The jury is still out on what exactly causes these cramps. But regular exercise, staying hydrated and massaging the calf muscles before bed can sometimes prevent them. If a cramp does strike, try stretching the muscles taking a warm bath or applying an ice pack to the affected area. Fast heartbeat. The thought of meeting your little one might make your heart beat a little more quickly than usual. But did you know that an increased heart rate can be normal during pregnancy? Your heart is working extra hard to pump up to 50% more blood around your body now. If you notice that your heart rate stays elevated for long stretches or if you also have difficulty breathing, speak to your healthcare provider. Hot flashes. If you thought hot flashes were only a sign of menopause, think again. It's not uncommon for moms to be. To experience this symptom occasionally, if hot flashes are making you uncomfortable and sweaty, stay hydrated, wear loose clothing, and consider using portable fan at home and at work. These hot flashes are due to more calories and generating more heat, but it will over after delivery. Dizziness at six months pregnant, as your belly grows, your circulation is changing and there may be less blood flow to your upper body and head. If you feel lightheaded, move slowly, then changing position, drink plenty of water and avoid standing for long periods of time. Varicose veins Varicose veins are more or less hereditary and caused because the veins have to push extra blood to your uterus to meet the nutritional requirements of the growing baby. These veins, which look swollen and purple in color around your thighs under the knee area, are known the varicose veins. Exactly regular and try to keep your feet up whenever possible. Also wear comfortable inner wear and shoes. Sleepless nights. Most of the ladies experience insomnia around this time of the pregnancy. The reason being hormonal changes, frequent visits to the washroom at night, and heartburn or indigestion. Moreover, when the baby kicks and flutters in the middle of the night, it's obvious you might not be able to have a good sleep. Some tips to avoid insomnia are to have your dinner 2-3 to three hours before bedtime and also be careful about you what you eat. Secondly, flow. Follow a bedtime ritual like a relaxing breathing, yoga reading, listening to music, a warm water bath, etc. Sleep on a comfortable bed in correct room temperature. Backache. Along with a backache, body ache will also start bugging you. You will feel more tired with each time passing. As your uterus grows, the ligaments from the pelvic area to the abdomen are stretched and put under extreme pressure which causes low tummy pain. The pain might continue for a few hours, but you must consult a doctor if it lasts for long and followed by contractions. It is around the abdomen. Around the middle of the sixth month of your pregnancy, you will experience. It is around the abdomen. This happens because your baby is almost developed and your skin starts stretching to accommodate the growing fetus and enlarged uterus. As a result, your skin becomes dry and starts itching. This is the perfect time to apply those creams and ointment for stretch marks to retain the moisture in your skin and reduce itchiness. Also keep drinking lots of water to keep your skin hydrated. Snoring Many ladies experience snoring at a stage of pregnancy. Again, blame it to the pregnancy hormones. The weight gain causes your neck and head tissues to swell, leading to snoring, and additionally, your mucous membrane also swells. It's better to use nasal drops or strips during sleeping for better breathing. Snoring might also be an indication of gestational diabetes, which can be monitored through blood and urine tests. Hunger cravings and increased appetite 
At this stage, you are not just eating for yourself but also for your baby. The baby's organs are developing, so your body needs to supply increased nutrients and vitamins. This is the reason why you will feel sudden hunger pangs and increased appetite around this time. So it's better to satisfy your herb without feeling guilty but at the same time eat wisely. Choose healthy food options like fruits, salads and whole grains foods over junk foods. Drink plenty of water and have 6 to 7 small portions of meal a day instead of 3 large ones. Edema. As you enter your last trimester, you will experience swelling in your feet, ankles and sometimes hands too. As your body is preparing for the baby, it retains fluids in the tissues to nourish you and the baby, which causes like swelling. A bit of swelling around the eyes and cheeks is also normal, but if the swelling is accompanied with high protein levels, and it might be a sign of preeclampsia, a serious medical condition that causes high blood pressure. In order to avoid edema, try to keep your legs up whenever possible and avoid wearing tight clothes. Try not to stand for long period. Heartburn. Those pesky pregnancy hormones are at it again, this time relaxing the wall between your stomach and esophagus. This allows stomach acids to leak into the esophagus, causes that uncomfortable burning sensation. If you have, if you are bothered by heartburn, try eating about six smaller meals each day rather than three larger meals and try to avoid foods that seem to make it worse such as spicy or fried fishes, citrus and chocolates. Now we will discuss about the baby development at the 6 month of pregnancy. A 6 month old baby is in the womb is almost fully grown and getting stronger day by day. His organs are still growing and lungs are not completely developed. As the baby's skin and muscles get matured, you are experiencing the baby's movement in the form of kicks and squirts. Along with this, Weight increasing, he also grows in length and is now about a foot long. He starts reach, reacting to sound. You can determine the fetus position with an ultrasound and see that the face of the baby is developed and the head is in proportion to the baby. He can even sense light and darkness by this time and also start developing white blood cells to fight against disease. The face of the baby would be complete by now including his eyelashes, eyebrows and hair. The growth of hair depends upon genetics and some babies are born with a lot of hair while some are bulking up. Your little bean is putting on more and more weight coming from accumulating baby fat along with the growing muscles, organs and bones. Now we will discuss the diet for the pregnant women of 6 months. It is better to avoid junk food and stick to cleanly cooked homemade stuff. Ensure that the continuous supply of folic acid, iron and calcium is being taken as the baby needs nutrients to develop completely. Six months of pregnancy food includes green leafy vegetables, nut roots and whole grain foods in your diet. For a steady flow of nutrients and minerals, roots like apricot, cherries, guava, grapes, berries, apple, mango, pineapple, etc. have a great amount of antioxidants and minerals. Vegetables like carrot, beetroot, spinach, pumpkins, tomatoes, onions, celery, broccoli, etc. are highly recommended foods that you can include in your diet. Tests you will be required to undergo the following test during six months of your pregnancy. Blood pressure checkup, weight measurement, urine test for measuring protein and sugar, gestational diabetes, test wherever you will be asked to drink a glass of glucose water and blood test will be done after two hours. Measuring the fundal height of the uterus, examining the fetus position and the size of the uterus, examination of feet and limbs for any signs of varicose veins or swelling. To-do list for moms to be. First and foremost, take good care of yourself. Regular exercising will help you stay fit and active during your pregnancy. Try practice Hegel exercises. Get at least 8 hours to sleep in a day. Try to sleep on your side in order to promote kidney functions and also to put less pressure on your rectum. Keep a relaxed body pressure and try to keep your feet up whenever possible. It is better to take vitamin B6 on prescription to reduce the act on your hands and limbs. Get all the information and details about childbirth. Read articles on 6 months pregnancy precautions and childbirth. Keep a relaxed body in childbirth. Don't be scared. Try to go with the flow and not take things to heart. It is very important to keep your mind positive and relaxed. Practice breathing exercise, a warm water bath, listening to music, watching funny videos and anything that you make you happy and relaxed. 
and it tips for dads to be as everybody focuses on the mommy to be once your pregnancy news is out we must never forget forget that it's an overwhelming feeling for the dad to be as well it is very important that you share all the information and details with your hubby too as he has no one else to address his concerns to you can start by explaining how to he can be helpful and do things during your labor it would be great if you too can attend the happy parenting seminar to prepare yourself for parenthood always try to visit the doctor together so that you both understand the situation well enough and can openly speak to the doctor the dad to be active participation in your 6 month pregnancy care plays a vital role in your journey together indulge in fun topics together like discussing baby names or playing an adorable nursery for welcoming your little one time will fly past sooner than you can imagine so just enjoy the phase of life without missing on a thing i hope i have explained all the information about the 6 month of pregnancy if you have enjoyed the video then like it share it and also subscribe my channel to encourage me thank you